Before we move on to our next lesson, which is how to properly apply a side spin to the cue ball, I want to give you a quick but very, very important lesson on cue ball deflection. It's really not deflection, but I'll get to that in a minute. In a nutshell, when you apply English or side spin to the cue ball, right hand English, the cue ball is forced off to the left, and obviously vice versa. Hit on the left, it's forced off to the right. Not that much. It could be anywhere from one millimeter to two or three inches, and it's not very noticeable by the naked eye. Now, as long as I've been playing pool, we've been calling that deflection, or most pool players have been referring to it as deflection. Guys like Bob Jewett, Ron Shepard, and most recently Mike Page are teaching us that it should be referred to as cue ball squirt. I have one at full speed. I'm going to apply right hand English and I'm going to use parallel English, which you'll know in the next session I really don't like. Here's center and one tip of parallel right hand side spin. You see how the cue ball was forced off to the left. Now that was that medium speed with parallel English and a stick that's not built to reduce the squirt. Here is middle left. Now we have new technology. It's not brand new. Primary cue sticks are built to reduce cue ball squirt. And I'll show you how that works. And I'll hit it a little harder for you. Center ball, middle right, and you can see how the ball stays on the shot. What I want you to understand out of this lesson is that cue ball squirt happens, and it's a reason a lot of amateur players miss while using side spin. But it's a hurdle we have to overcome, we have to embrace it. You don't have to run out and buy a private cue stick. I like one of my students have sticks, they come to me with sticks that do deflect because I believe they'll become better players by experiencing the feel of squirt, they'll become more educated, and then later on I do recommend that they run out and get a predator. Unless you play all the time, this squirt is one of the hardest things to, to compensate for because there's so much feel and it changes all the time with different conditions. You could have brand new cloth. Everything's nice and clean and dry, there's less friction. The cue ball will squirt out more and swerve in less. Change it around. Everything's worn in or thick and humid and dirty. More friction between the ball and the cloth. So the cue ball squirts out less, starts to actually swerve in earlier. So different conditions and it is a feel thing. But I'm going to talk to it talk about it throughout all of our lessons. Cue ball squirt. I'll probably say the ball deflected, but it'll be a 50-50 mix. Squirt, deflection. Now let's move on to the next section, which is how to properly apply side spin to the cue ball. Now that you're committed to applying side spin to the cue ball and realize it's not so evil after all, I'm going to show you a few different ways uh, to apply side spin to the cue ball and discuss their effects on the cue ball. And we'll get some close-ups too and some overhead views so you really you'll get a good idea of exactly what it is I'm doing. And I'm going to use a straight in shot to demonstrate these methods. Now, you would like never use English on a straight in shot, but still the objective is the same. If I had this shot over here and I wanted to put bottom left on the cue ball, I would still have to deliver the cue ball to the exact spot. Okay? But a lot of times people will miss that shot, they'll never blame the effects of English. They'll say they overcut it, they hit it too full, they'll blame their aim or their stroke. So with the straight in shot, we all know where we want to aim. 
So if we miss this shot, we can blame the, how we applied English to the cue ball or perhaps our, sh our stroke. But at least we know where we're going to aim. It's very difficult to pocket this ball using English, and it's going to take you a while to get used to it. But if you can do it here, all the other shots will be that much, you'll be much more effective and it'll be easier. Okay, we're going to discuss how most professionals apply side spin to the cue ball. And then I'm going to show you one, two, three, four other ways to apply side spin to the cue ball and their effects. Professional player walking into the shot with bottom left. When they hit the table, the tip is going to be left or center already. The butt will be a little bit to the right of the shot line. It'll look something like this. A lot of feel. Okay? They know how much the cue ball is going to square a curve, how hard or soft they're going to hit, and they're, they're feeling the aim. Experience. I'm going to teach the same way, we're just going to do it more conscious and we're going to approach it step by step. Now I do it the same way as professional players do it. I just do it a little bit more conscious and uh, if I'm playing I'm in the zone, I just walk into it with the English shot. But if there's a real high pressure shot, shot you have to be very, very precise, hill, hill, and under the gun. I walk in with center ball. Here would be center cue ball. Now I'm gonna pivot my bridge hand a little bit here and my back hand a little bit out. Center cue ball, I'm very sure about where my aim is with center. Not a lot of feel required. And then I pivot a little bit and do both. Two very good types or very two very good methods of applying side spin to the cue ball called front hand English and back hand English. And what I just did was a little bit of both. And that's how most professionals, when they're walking in with that angle, they don't know that they're using both and they don't say, I'm going to use a little bit of both. They just naturally play that way. Okay? Uh, first, front hand English and what effect it has on the cue ball. Front hand English means my back hand stays still and I just pivot my bridge to the tip position I desire. Okay. I'll fall on the shot with center ball, taking into consideration any cue ball squirt or a swerve ahead of time. So meaning I'll aim a little full or a little thin ahead of time. Here I'm just going to aim dead center because I'm playing with the Z. It doesn't deflect very much at all. And I'll, I'll hit it with the middle right. Take my time with center. When I feel good, like I have it dead center, now I'm going to pivot my front bridge hand just over to the right. Now this usually causes a little bit of squirt, but I'm going to hit it kind of soft. Sticks angle with the shot line, I got the middle right. Front hand English usually causes a little bit more deflection than backhand English. Now let's do backhand. Now we'll just do the backhand English. I'm going to keep the bridge dead solid and just tuck my back backhand or the butt of the cue a little in or a little out. What do you want to hit it with? Bottom right, bottom left. How about middle right hand spin? Fall on the cue ball with center ball. Get your aim very comfortable. You're sure about the pocket. Your aim, no feel required. Dead center. Bridge hand is still. Now watch the butt. The tip goes over to the right, the butt goes back and forth. Again, I created the same type of angle, a little bit offline. Got the right hand on the cue ball. 